Some inventions are simple, like the bug backpack. And some are high tech, like an experimental car. Check this out. Let's go! I'm Travis, and I engineer solar race cars. Born to be wild. So what we're trying to do here is use science and engineering to develop a race car. And this race car is a little bit different because we're trying to go the fastest we can using the least possible amount of energy. Go! This is the University of Minnesota's sixth solar vehicle, Borealis 2. So we have a solar car, which means it runs off the power from the sun. So we have the sun's rays coming down to the car. And these solar panels, which are called photovoltaic cells, are taking the sun's rays and converting them into an electrical current. Well, oh, 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 oh. I did uh, projects in high school where we built different robots and machines. When I got to college, I wasn't sure what exactly I wanted to do. The classes were great, but at the same time, I wanted something hands-on, something that was a project. And so I sort of discovered the solar car. We were given sort of this project, this objective to fulfill. We had to figure out everything ourselves. So that involved defining the specifications, designing the components, figuring out how to manufacture them and assemble them, and then finally testing them. Testing one, two. The advantage to solar cars over conventional cars that run on gasoline is that they're better for the environment. Gasoline cars emit pollution, so when you burn fossil fuels, you're releasing energy within them, but you're also creating pollutants at the same time. A solar car is completely clean energy, so when you take power from the sun, you're not creating any pollutants that are going to damage the atmosphere. Maybe someday we'll all have a solar car in our driveways. That solar car is really cool. But you know, nowadays, it's not just experimental projects that are run on solar energy. Yep, there are big solar panels that power satellites and Ferris wheels. And even some smaller solar gadgets like flashlights. Calculators. And some clocks. So any day now, solar power might heat your bath water, run your car, and light your house. But now let's move into some science that you can do right now. Let's check out the results from last week's Do It. <laughs> 